Hello everyone, welcome to Spoken Word Sunday with Granddaddy G, episode 91, birthday. April 12th, 2020 is not only Easter Day, happy Easter to everybody out there, but it also is my birthday, so happy birthday to me. I'm 66 years old now. That's hard to believe because I feel about 50 years younger. So I did what I usually do to mark every special occasion. I wrote a poem called Birthday, two words. I once was removed from a peaceful sleep by doctors and nurses who cast shadows deep, awakened by a slap on my backside from the nice warm cavern where I did hide. Cold and frightened, I let out a scream. I thought it was all a big bad dream. I stared at the faces that looked 20 feet tall. This is my experience. I relate to it all. I left behind rivers of strawberry red. I cried for comfort. I begged to be fed. I fondled my mother's nourishing breast, sucking the energy from her chest. I watched the butterflies, leaves, and dogs. I played with tinker toys and Lincoln logs, all full of learning, learning from all. This is my experience. I relate to it all. I captured the enemy hiding in the brush. I sang my song out loudly, only to hear hush. I ran until I couldn't run anymore. I'm still running now. I know not what for. Blue was the sky, bright was the dawn, green was the grass that grew on the lawn. Through a child's eyes appeared what I saw. This is my experience. I relate to it all. I found friendship with other young braves who also wondered what sleeps inside caves. I flew like a bird without touching the sky. I knew freedom without having to try. Life was more than just waking and sleeping. Life was rolling, jumping, and leaping. It all started with learning how to crawl. This is my experience. I relate to it all. I entered a school which halted my mind from asking the purpose of what I did find. My freedom was lost to a teacher's stick. Facts and figures clogged my mind thick. Unable to learn what I felt I would need, lost and alone I would fall down and bleed, feeling like myself was against their mighty law. This is my experience. I relate to it all. I struggled to achieve the first place in line. The stars in my collar were the brightest to shine. I was forced to compete with those who would not wait. I tried to catch up, but was always too late. I lived and thought for only myself. In my mind, there was no one else. I was careful not to slip, dared not to fall. This is my experience. I relate to it all. I dreamt many dreams with many rainbows and hues of apricot oranges and sky-colored blues. I felt descent towards society's way. Only inside myself would I pray. Demonstrations, rallies, and picket signs. These were all part of my view of the times. My talent sparkled like a tin foil ball. This is my experience. I relate to it all. Politics and social problems I would fight, thinking that only my way could be right. Standing apart from all the rest, feeling my ideas would always be best growing in only one direction, seeing only my own reflection, ready at all times to answer the call. This is my experience. I relate to it all. I learned early on to use a pencil or pen. Catholicism had more meaning to us all back then. I looked inside myself and time after time, my feelings expressed themselves in poetic rhyme. Within all of my written words, I swam with the fish and flew with the birds. I stared at the strange images I draw. 
This is my experience. I relate to it all. Today, as I look into the newly polished mirror, all of my reflections have now come clear. I have been born once again, so it seems. I have finally awakened from my colorless dreams. I have found love, peace, happiness, and joy. I have grown to be an old man, but have not lost the boy. The rest of the story will be told on my wall. This is my experience. I relate to it all. Yes, I do. Thank you, everybody. Thank you to everyone that put some very nice Facebook messages wishing me happy birthday and LinkedIn and YouTube. And I want to leave you with one thought that's on my shirt here. Art may be the only tool we have left to save ourselves from destruction. Jack Jackson, C. Bernard Jackson, who is the founder and director of the Inner City Cultural Center that I volunteered for a few years back in the 90s. Stay safe, everybody. Things are getting better. They're already getting better in many parts of the world. And I think that we're probably just maybe about a month, six weeks away from turning the corner here in the U.S. So God bless you. I'll see you next time on Spoken Word Sunday with Granddaddy G. Happy birthday to me.